Hello and welcome back to Feed the Beast Skies, a mod pack for Minecraft. And it's episode three. Hello, buddy there. And we're going to focus on getting a tree farm set up with the pedestals mod. So let's get into it. And the idea is that we're going to have a very detailed step-by-step -step guide to make it as easy as possible to get a nice tree farm set up uh, for spruce because they go straight up and they don't grow all crazy. So the very first thing you want to start off with is to get that spruce. And to do that, you're going to need a market. And I just highlight market there. And we're going to need some red wool. So you're going to have to dye that with some dye. And there's a lot of different ways to get the dye. So we come over and you're going to buy the spruce. We'll start off by just buying the spruce and you want to buy seven of them. If you, uh, you could buy less and try to build up your supply of saplings, but I bought seven of them. And there we go. So now we have our seven saplings. And we'll put these back in here. And then I have all the different pieces that we're going to be working with right in this box here. So, so let's take a look. Um, we're going to be using the pedestal mod. So you're going to need three pedestals. And then we're going to make, I'm going to show you how to make this one, this one, and this one using these bases. Let's take a look at how to make these bases because these three items make this, these two make the chopper upgrade, and all of this makes that. So let's take a look at how to make the base upgrade. Okay, gold, we've got gold, we can do that. What's this upgrade? Hmm. How do you make that? So we go like that. I've done it earlier in the thing. You hold a piece of gold in your offhand and a stick in your right hand, and you have a bookshelf, just like this. So gold in the offhand, stick, and you throw it at this, boom, it turns into one of these. And then you can just grab some gold. Let's see where we have gold, right over here. And you put it like that. I put a whole stack in there and I have a bunch of these. So we can put this down here and we'll put that in our stack. No problem. So we've got that done. So now we know how to make these. Let's take a look and go to the next step. Okay. So we're going to need a fertilizer upgrade, a chopper upgrade, and a planter upgrade. So we're going to have three pedestals. So let's look at this one first. Just like that. We know how to make this now. That's easy to make. Done. Iron axe, base, done. Then we come to this one, the planter upgrade. And here we are back at this. If you don't have these already, if you haven't found them or got them out of grass, you can just go right over to the, uh, right over to this guy and buy them. That's going to be four more, uh, uh, um, emeralds. So here's the wheat, the beet, the potato, and the carrot. You're going to buy one of each. I actually uh, bought two of each and then planted it over here. So let's take a look. So we'd have all these things. So now, just like that, we built it. You could also uh, craft it this way. So now we've got this done. Perfect. We are going to be using three pedestals. So um, here's the three pedestals. How do we make these? Well, we need a linking tool. And how do we do that? We go to the hand thing. We need any kind of gem in the off hand and a stick and a bookshelf. So let's put appetite. We have, those are pretty cheap and no big deal. Here's the stick. Pop that into there. And now we have the linking tool, which you can use with that, that, and that. Just these stones, which are just uh, cooked down regular cobblestone. Cobblestone in there makes those. Perfect. So let's pop those in there. And we'll even throw this one up there, too. Things uh, organized. All right, we're doing well so far. Let's find out what else we need. We need these cards. Specifically, we're going to need two work area cards for the chop, one for the chopper and one for the fertilizer upgrade pedestal. And then we're going to need a work location card. And they're right up here. And this work location card is going to go in the planter. We'll do all this step by step, so don't worry. And here we go. Well, how do we make this? Okay, a work tool. That's weird. 
when you press the recipe for this, there's no recipe. So I was like, what? this is kind of weird. Same thing, bunch of sticks, no recipe. So how do we make this? Well, this is the neat thing. If, oh, it's getting dark out. If you hold shift and right click up in the air, see how it turned to a different kind? There we go, now I have a work tool. And you can go through all of them, upgrade tool, tool swapper, filter tool, just like that. So now we have a work tool. And then what I did is I just made one and kept it that way as a work tool. But I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna put, turn this one back to a regular upgrade tool. Uh-oh, oh no, <laughs> I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Let's fight this guy. Sorry, guys. Uh oh. 28, 19, 13, 4. What did he give us? Another hat? A villager hat decreases the trading prices of villagers. Hmm? Can I just put that on my head? Can I swap it out? I have two hats on now. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I did not know we wear two hats. And so now we've figured out how to make these with the uh, work tool. So let's uh, let's begin. Right over here, I'm gonna place down my uh, I'm gonna place down these three, and I'll show you how to do this as well, so that we can auto gather the stuff as well. Looks like I'm gonna have a box here to put the spruce trees and another thing here. So it's gonna be right here. We're gonna put one here. This is going to be a center point. So then uh, one, two, I'll put one right here. And then I'm going to go this way. One, two, I'll put one right there. And it should look something like this. And the first one we're going to work on is this planter upgrade. So it's going to plant these things. We're going to plant it in a five by five pattern, not five by five, kind of like an X pattern, I'll call it. Just like this. Just like that. So that's what it's going to look like. I'll, st I'll jump up here so you can kind of look at it. Just the spaces in between. You don't want them touching each other like this. There we go. And we're going to begin with the planter upgrade. So I'm going to put, I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it in my offhand. Okay, so, so far so good, right? And we're going to put it right here at this back one. With an empty hand, simply right click. And then it's going to pop up. It doesn't have any working area or locations to plant from. No problem. We're going to hold on to this work, work location card, not the, um, not the area card. And I'm going to right click each of these plants. See that little green stuff up fuzzy peers there, 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 and there. Now, if I hold shift on this, it, it's, it knows all the, all the locations where I want this to be planted to do its planting. So let's move this into our offhand again. Don't miss that step and right click. And now it's in there. An easy way to get back, get things back out or to start over if you've had a problem is just go ahead and break the thing and then put it back down and you'll get all the stuff back. Let's do that real quick. Seems odd, but we'll do it. And then we're going to put this back in there. And let's say you, um, there we go, we'll put that back on. It needs the work area. Let's say you messed up and you didn't have the right, um, the right uh, work locations. You just right click in the air, it's cleared. Over here would be bad, so clear. So we're going to put it back on. One, two, three, four, and five. We'll put it in our offhand and right click it on there just like that. So now we have this thing going. And to prove that, we're going to go like this. Kind of neat, actually. So already we have a planter. So that would be something easy to set up. It's got six on there, five on there, and it knows how to plant them. Pretty cool. There we go. Now that we know it, that it can actually plant the plant, uh, the, the spruce trees, let's go ahead and break these. And it might try to replant them a little bit. There it goes, no problem. And there. Because what I want to do next is do the fertilizing area, and I want to tell it um, where to fertilize. So we're going to make this the fertilizer one. 
So we're going to put this in our offhand like that. It's still weird that we do it that way. And we're right back in the same situation. It needs a work area, not a work location. We're going to go work area. We could probably do it with a location, but we're going to use the area card. So this is the key point. You're going to want to put one of these here. Here's the center point right there, just like that. So let's pretend these were um, spruce trees, but they're not. And now we're going to tell it that this is the work area for fertilizing. Right here, we're going to right click on that one. Oops, shift right click, point one selected. And then right over here on this angle, not that one, not that one, this one. Let's see if this works. So now we have, and if you want to clear it, just shift right click in the air and then we'll just reset it. So shift and shift. Now we have two points selected. And there they are in the thing. I hold shift down on it. We're going to put this in here. Not there. <laughs> and we're going to right click it on there. And that goes away. Beautiful thing. Next up, we're going to work on the chopping area, the chopper upgrade. So let's move these down. We'll put this on our offhand and right click on here. Now this is the interesting thing. It needs a work area. Now I'm looking at it and I'm, I'd be like, well, I need it to work here to here, but we're gonna work vertically. So we're gonna have to do this a little bit differently. But it's okay to do. Um, let's find out how tall this work area could possibly be. So I have this in my hand, the upgrade tool. I right click and if we step back, we can see this big, big outline, which is good. This is the possible work area that it could do. Right click again, it goes away. We're going to keep it on for a second. And then I'm going to jump right here and I'm going to crawl, I'm going to pillar my way up. Not too high, almost to the almost to the top of it. Maybe one more. There we go. So it's still in the blue. Everything's fine. Now we're going to shift right click. We're we're setting the area in three dimensions here. So we're going to shift right click on this one. We got the first point selected. Then you could dig back down or just jump off, whatever you want to do. And now we're going to set the next point. So we've set a point up in the air over there. Now we're going to shift, right click on this one. So we climbed way up, and there it is. So let's do this. Now we've got the two locations, in, but with three. D coordinates because we've gone up and horizontally. <laughs> Let's put this here. Let's slap that on there and look at that. That's now the cube because we touched there and touched there. And sure enough, this is what it's going to, this is the thing that's going to, the area that it's going to harvest, not outside of it, anything. So let's take this back off. Let's throw this stick away. There we go. And now we can break this, this, and that, and that. Sure enough, this system should work. So let's see if it does. A moment of truth, right? Okay, so now it should be up and running. Let's go put some plants in there. Or plants, <laughs> spruce. There it goes. It's planting it in our pattern, our 5x5 five five pattern. Pretty cool. Even that by itself is nice if you just, you know, you don't want to be bothered to set all this up. This thing will at least plant for you. And, oh, the fertilizer's happening. That little puff of, uh, see that little puff right over that? And that, that's a chance that it'll have a, a fertilization happen and the tree will grow. Come on, you can do it. As soon as I look away, it'll grow. Maybe I'll step away a little. <laughs> Pretty easy setup. There it goes. Beautiful. There's the chopping. And now we're, sit we're in a situation where, you know, you have all this on the ground. And that's what we're going to face, uh, figure out next. So let's uh, pick this stuff up. And we'll do the next next step. Oh, geez. Now we have a visitor from the, uh, the nether over there. I should have broke that so they can't <laughs> wander in here. Hello, buddy.
So let's, let's set up the part where it auto gathers everything. And we'll see if our buddy won't bother us now. That's growing and working and doing its thing. Oh boy, more stuff, plenty of these. And sometimes you'll get, like one will grow and you won't get enough uh, spruce trees to continue the loop. Uh, just go ahead and buy a couple more and you'll be in good shape. I mean, we already have 14. A lot more than we started. Okay, so now let's automate this. Here's the thing, I got rid of those so far. It knows how to replant them. You're gonna need a item collector. Let's take a look how to make that. Block of flint, we know how to make all this stuff. This is easy stuff. So let's go ahead and place this down. We're gonna place it right here. And I think it's gonna be like this. If you face away, it's gonna be the area with this red dot facing this way. So I left a little bit of a gap here between the gatherer I'm going to have a pipe here, a, a drawer here for the uh, spruce, and then a pipe. So here we go. Let's put the first pipe down. And then I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to show the working area. And we're going to shrink it down to, like, maybe use the mouse wheel down to 5x5. Five five, and we're going to turn it off for now. And this, let's walk over here and see if the area is quite right. It's a little big, isn't it? Let's raise it up. And then we're going to go this down to a 4x4 four four area. So we'll walk over here. That's pretty That's pretty good. It's nothing really should fall outside of it, but we'll get most of almost everything. I like that area. So we're in good shape. We still have it off for a second. We can turn it back on. That's how you control it with redstone or not. And then right in front of this, we're going to put a drawer down. I have um, the storage drawers, but you could have functional drawers as well. I just added storage drawers to the mod pack. And we're going to plop that down. And what I want to do is I want to put these in here and I want to lock it. So only uh, those can go in there. Perfect. And then we're going to do, uh, let's see, We'll put one here and one here. And then we're going to put these three things right up top. Perfect. And then I'm going to say I want these here and these here. We'll put this away for a second and go like that. Just like that and like that. I'm going to put these three things over here. And you can do this any way you want. And we're going to put the, these two things over here. Why not? And you can do it with less or more of these. Depends on how you want it. I like the symmetry look, so we're going to go like that. Now, that's not really going to do anything, but this is going to do stuff. So we're going to go like this and like that. And if you have a storage drawer controller, you could just put it into the controller and then it'll feed it all to the right things. We're going to do it like this. Oh, there's nothing in the goes in the middle, so we're going to go like that and like that, and it should work. Okay, nice. Now the next step is to have um, a pipe. And we're using these things. These are very cheap and easy to make. And I'm going to hold shift and right click and see how it changed. Now it's nothing. Now if I aim right there, it'll put it back. And right there, that means it's going to withdraw it and put it into here. But it's only going to put it in the spots that it could possibly put it in. We're going to lock these just like that. And just in case, I'll unlock that one. Eh, doesn't matter because there's no way stuff can get in it anyways. Now I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to take one more pipe. And we're going to put it right into here. This is going to be kind of interesting. And as soon as I put this on, it's going to start. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> here we go. There. It's going to put it there. And let's watch this thing work. Planting everything. Very nice. Very nice. Moment of truth. I tried to set everything up very um, very uh, organized so that it would just give you a step-by-step -step guide to follow. 
because this is really powerful. It's nice to have that because I wanted a bunch of this to turn into charcoal. And I'll be doing that next. Oh, there we go. And how much did we have over here? It's going to start chopping it down. 40. Let's see if it actually collects the wood. Come on. Choppity chop. There's some chops going on. Easy. Oh, it replanted right away. This thing picked up. Did it go into here? 47. We're in good shape, guys. This thing's working. 16 of those. How many are in here? 18. So what I'll do is just to monitor it, I'll come back over and make sure that we have at least more than 18. <laughs> um, and if this is uh, going to... Uh, if this is going down, I'll figure out a, a replacement, but this should work to the point where we're getting plenty of saplings and we'll be in good shape. There's this. It's on, always on. It's going to chop this down. I really hope this helps. If this does uh, help, um, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be making more of these videos to help you out with the different mods in here. And I try to make them as organized as possible. Let's see if it's how many we're up to 20 now. So we're going up, not down on the saplings, which is good. And this should be a self-replicating, just continuous thing now. 55, and I can always put uh, upgrades in these drawers to make them hold more. Got two Bs. I think we're in good shape. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask down below and I'll uh, give you an answer or I'll do my best. And have a good one, guys. I hope this helps. Pretty cool. It's neat. The these things are really powerful. They're just a little weird to work with, but they are really powerful. And this is just, they're just the beginning of it. You can speed these things up. You can make this go faster. I could probably put like another one of these fertilizer things down over here and make it fertilize even faster. Is this going to chop down on this corner? Yep. It's chopping away. Oh, it's chopping the leaves. There it goes. And plenty. And how many do we have in there now? Come on, 20, what? Just 20? Hmm. Let's take a look right here. Just the one, it's still pumping them out. So it's tight, but it should work. I hope this helped, guys. Alrighty. Pretty cool. I like it.